2021 has been a great year for automotive industry. But what's more exciting is that 2022 has a lot of lot of vehicles in store and I'm excited to see and review some of them going forward. So with that said, there are five cars in particular that I'm very interested in being unveiled and then going into production so I can hopefully review them and you know provide some quality content for the channel. Coming in at number five is the Nissan Z prototype is what they're calling it, but ultimately it's gonna be the replacement for the 370Z that they have. And I'm excited for it um, because this is supposed to be Nissan's fun little JDM sports car before you get into that GTR um, price figure, which is you know a six figure price tag. And, and you know, not everyone wants to go into that side of thing. So this is supposed to be like that entry level um, fun car that Nissan makes. And this one's more special because they say that it's gonna have elements of some of the old um, Nissan Z cars, like the 350Z, you've got the, the 240Z, especially from the front end, they're saying that the new one, based on the photos, I'll put them up on the screen, um, the front end is inspired, the boxy grille is inspired by the 240Z, and the back of the car has this rectangular black section um, with squared off taillights, again, sort of paying homage to those classical JDM race cars. What I'm also excited about is the powerhouse that the Nissan's gonna put in that Z prototype. They're saying they're taking the, the Infiniti's three liter twin turbo V6 engine that's gonna produce 400 horsepower, tune it, you know, mash it up a little bit so they can, um, you know, obviously make it more tuned to the, to the to Nissan's car. Um, but it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with it because obviously um, there's gonna be a huge market for that, the tuning, the modifying, um, side of things so we'll see what what kind of power figures they put out but it looks like it's going to be at least 400 horsepower to a rear wheel drive car with a six speed manual transmission and the best part is that it's going to be priced at just around thirty four thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars us which in my opinion is a steal it's a bargain i mean you compare it to the toyota supra which is going to be in the 50 um 45 50 range and then the z bmw z4 um, they're the direct competitors, I would say, to this car, and they're priced a lot higher than this one. So it's definitely going to be interesting to get a car for around thirty-five thousand um, that puts up four hundred horsepower. But let's see if Nissan can really live up to the expectation that's been set so far. Now, coming in at number four, I'm excited for the Hummer EV. So just a bit of a backstory here: Hummer was scrapped. Uh, the Hummer, the brand, was scrapped um, back in 2010 because of you know poor sales. There were really no, there was no really interest in getting the car and then um, all of a sudden out of nowhere General Motors decided to announce it again and they said that it was going to come as part of GMC's lineup so this will be a GMC Hummer and what's more exciting is that it's going to be producing a thousand horsepower um, powered by three electric motors so it'll be a fully electric one and it's supposed to do zero to 60 in under three seconds which is just phenomenal um, it'll be interesting because again General Motors hasn't really done a fully electric car and then they're doing it with a pickup truck so um, we'll see how how it does with that market because you know that's a very specific segment um, that gm or general motors is trying to um, cater to but from what i'm, I'm seeing i'm from re from what i'm reading on it looks like a very interesting little car it's got some really cool features you know we've got the crab walk they've been marketing that a lot um, which is where the car can essentially drive diagonally um, it's a bit of a gimmick but i think it might be an, uh, a very useful feature you know when you're off-roading the the hummer um, and also the Hummer will be coming in initially as a pickup and then it's going to come later on as an SUV and then at launch the Hummer EV will be having a six-figure price tag which is a bit of a, a bit of a push in my opinion um, but you know with that said there are a lot of features that makes the car fully like that makes the car worth the price so you know you've got air suspension you've got semi-autonomous driving modes you've got a power operated bed cover you've got a 13.4 inch infotainment display um, keep in mind an iPad Pro the biggest iPad is 12.9 inches so this is a pretty big screen that GM is putting in there um, in their car so they're really going all out um, but again uh, they haven't really given out any more information besides those things and at a hundred thousand or a hundred thousand plus price figure i'm not really sure um there's gonna be a large demand for it but at the end of the day um i might be wrong i'm sure general motors did their own research before coming to their price tag um but at the end of the day the thousand horsepower electric motor the three electric motor is going to be a big setback for competitors like rivian um, as well as the tesla cybertruck which should be coming out someday i don't know when it's going to be but 
um yeah i'm excited to test drive the the hummer ev hopefully soon general motors if you're watching this please hook me up with one coming in at number three is the chevy c8 z06 which is another general motors car and i'm excited for this one because um, the c8 already was a pretty well perceived car um, a lot of people liked it the interior was really nice it was really beautifully designed and then they came up with the z06 which is supposed to be the track variant um, of the c8 it's supposed to be faster it's supposed to have a 5.5 liter v8 engine that produces 670 horsepower um, with a flat crank and it revs up to 8600 rpm and the coolest fact is that um, the the sound of the car like the engine uh, exhaust sound it, it took two years for general motors engineers to to perfect that sound um, and from what i heard uh, if you look online you could probably find a lot of different clips of the the exhaust it sounds really really good i mean it sounds better than some of the ferraris and some of the lamborghinis you know, it's a bit of a overcast there but I think it's right up there with them. The handling is supposed to be really sharpened up as well from the C8. It's gonna have a eight speed dual clutch transmission that is tuned even more than what it is right now. The Z06 will come standard with 20 inch rims in the front and 21 inch wheels in the back. And some cool options will be available as well. For example, you've got the Z07 package that's gonna have reduced weight. It adds um, some aerodynamic elements, bigger upgrades to the brakes and the tires. In terms of the pricing, um, Chevy hasn't actually revealed the pricing for the Z06 yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go just over 90,000, 95,000. And, you know, that is a pretty substantial figure. But for a 670 horsepower car that probably competes with now the Ferraris, um, some of the other Italian exotics, I think it's a pretty good bargain, um, if you ask me. Again, I'm excited to try it out in real life. Hopefully, I can see it. But that exhaust node itself was enough for me to be really, really hyped about the car. Coming at number two is the C63 AMG. Um, now, I know AMG hasn't had the best year. I'm talking about Lewis Hamilton being robbed, but that's a different different video, um, maybe. Um, but yeah, it was definitely heartbreaking to see AMG scrap the V8. You know, it sounds so good, and it was just like a like an iconic thing that AMG used to have in all their um, on all their 63s. But now they're replacing it with a four-cylinder hybrid engine, and it just it's unfortunate, but that's just how it is because of you know the the, the changing um, atmosphere of the the laws, the emission regulations, and all that sorts of stuff. The thing is, I'm excited to see how AMG is gonna get to that 500 horsepower mark because right now the C63 puts out just over 500 horsepower, and um, they're gonna have to figure out a way to put that out with a gasoline and electric motor. Um, from what I read on, they're saying that they're gonna use the A40, A, A45 engine and um, sort of combine that with an electric motor and hopefully put out 500 horsepower. I've seen some um, snippets and some, some clips of the car being tested at the track and it looks fast, but it just it's really disappointing to see that car did not have a single sound to it. I mean, it had a very, very minimal sound to it and it sucks, but it just that that is the way things are gonna be going forward and um, nonetheless i'm excited to see what amg brings out with that car coming at number one is the bmw m2 for the new generation um, now there, there's a particular reason why i'm so excited for this car to come out but you know i i know that the two series in general the new one hasn't been pretty well received by a lot of people um, they don't like the design language um, they don't like the eggplant color blah 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 i know i've heard it all I just had my chance to drive the M240i recently. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to click the pop-out banner to watch it. Shameless plug, I know, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but I'm excited because, you know, the M2, the, the M2 competition currently has been one of the best cars um, remarked by almost everyone I've talked to. And, you know, even Jeremy Clarkson, who reviewed the car back when it came out, he said it was one of the best M, M cars ever made. So it's definitely a pretty big or pretty high expectation that BMW has to live to. Um, but if they can somehow manage to do it, I think it would have to be um, something al along the lines of, you know, taking those same elements that they had in the M2 competition and sort of just making them a little bit better instead of trying something different. There were a couple of um, photos and videos circulating on the internet about the M2 comp or M2 um, being tested out in Germany pretty recently. So I know they're probably at the end of it. Um, it from what I saw, it looks like a wider and a sportier version of the, the, two, the 240i, I guess you could say. And... Um, it, it looks pretty menacing, but again, the looks are subjective. Not everyone likes it. So I think what BMW has to do here is that they have to focus on the, the driving side of things because um, the looks aren't appreciated by everyone. And if they can sort of nail that, that you know, 406 horsepower mark or maybe more, um, and then have the manual transmission, have it still 
you know be based off the same uh, the platform that they have in the m2 competition i think they should be in good hands but it's bmw they can do whatever they want and i wouldn't be surprised if they you know unveil something crazy um at some point next year which is my which brings my next point they haven't actually really talked anything about it um but the m2 in particular i think it's going to get unveiled sometime next year um i would say around summer and then it's going to hit probably production um late of next year but besides that we don't really know much else um i just can't wait to try it out i think that's gonna be a really, really fun car to drive and have on the channel and with that um these are the five cars that i'm very excited in reviewing hopefully at some point next year particularly the c63 and the m2 hopefully i can get them for an extended period of time um, that's gonna happen if you subscribe to the channel and like the video so if you haven't already done that please be sure to go do that and also we are on instagram so be sure to follow us on there it's at gone.driving i'll leave the information um, down in the description below and besides that i'll see you guys next time with a brand new video take care